YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Final Stretch uh, Sim 1. Horse Racing Manager Sim 1. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Um, we haven't played in a while. November of uh, 2021. Yeah. Way longer than I would have liked to go, but nonetheless, here we are. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Actually, I want to see if I can change my um my graph uh my frame doesn't really look that good drop this volume down don't really need it in this game i'll put shadows on high custom all right everything else is cool colors will do that all right um so as far as who we have here we have run for whiskey our nine-year-old he is up there and that's always the cool thing about um harness horse racing and obviously the horses that uh, you know partake in this is that uh, they have much longer careers I know uh, basic blue has talked about that on his channel and basic blue again shout out to you man I uh, love the content keep it up it's been really enjoyable I would love to see you play maybe some other uh, gallop racer titles if you wanted to I, I think that'd be fun for the rest of the community as well if you ever uh, wanted to do that at, at some point after 2004 man I, I think that'd be really dope um, so yeah uh, I don't, do we have anything? We do have a race, I think. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played in a while, three months. So I might be a little bit sluggish here, so do forgive me. Um, I'm going to try racing once to see what happens. Um, I don't, yeah, I feel like I haven't done well. But then I also feel like the AI has also not been doing great. So we'll register for bets, even though I don't really plan on betting. <laughs> Field 15 here. Uh, who are we racing on again? Oh, Lespio. Um, we have a 25 uh, pound handicap too. Extra 25 on us. 2700 meters, and it's a long race. What on earth was I thinking? The bookmakers have us finishing dead last. Wow. <clears throat> confidence. Great confidence. Oh, it's going to be a struggle. We're going to race. We're going to partake in the race ourselves. And uh, see if I can do this. Okay. So I do remember I need to keep this up here. Ah, I messed it up. Okay, that's my fault. All right. So a long race here. I'm not even sure how I've messed up my races here. Now, keep in mind, you guys remember what I've been talking about the other Gallup Racer titles. I mean Gallup Racer titles. The other um, Horse Racing Manager Sim uh, game. Horse Racing Manager 2, the game I've been playing recently. Uh, the features in that game compared to this game. Uh, this game is obviously the, the first one of the series. It's a lot older, as you can tell. But this game has way more features. Everything is available here on screen in this, horse, in this uh, mode of the harness horse racing compared to you know the second version of the game basically where you know there's just a limited amount of uh, options and features doesn't make sense so we're doing good here our stamina is right here I think we're I'm managing him pretty well um, or her I can't remember if it's a Colt or Philly Lesbio I don't even have them in my notes I'm ridiculous and as you can see much more in depth as far as actually showing you where the wind is coming from it's also a pretty cool thing. Um, we're getting hit with some wind now, as I mentioned it. So everybody's running about 40 kilometers. We're running 40. We're fine. Wind is 14 miles, uh, 14 kilometers an hour, going west to east. Now north. We're sitting here at the back still. Tuck him in, just want to make sure he um, he stays close to these horses. So I'll keep it about right here. Probably still running hard, 41 kilometers an hour. We're fine. I think we're managing our stamina with him quite well. Considering. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I wish the second version of the game had features like this, but it doesn't. It looks better, but this game also looks special. The coloring is really detailed. I'm running, I'm essentially running this at the highest graphics. I wish there was a way to like edit like the horse textures and and some other things and like the horse numbers, but I, I've tried. It's it's really difficult. 
This, this was made like on a... I forgot what system this was made on, but um, something that's very difficult to work and extremely outdated. So it's, it's worked for the game, but I mean, I don't think many game developers or companies use that software anymore. So, um, so keeping them here, just because, uh, him or her, I'm not trying to make a move yet, <clears throat> but, um, hopefully this will start to kick in for us. So, his stamina and, or, keep their stamina and the remainder of the race are kind of neck and neck so gonna increase the speed a little bit here let's see how far we can catch up um we're making a run here and i think if we keep at this speed maybe we can actually get to the line we might be able to get to the line and win this race if we keep at this speed holy cow look at the spurt from lesbio all the way from the back we might catch oh we still have a long way to go maybe not maybe i got too excited we still have a long way to go here um, yep, stamina, I may have been pushing a little too hard. Stamina is just kind of about to tap out for us. Um, yep, it's just about to tap out. Let's try to finish strong. Don't finish too far behind. There's the stam, and oh, man, terribly managed. Terribly managed. It's really disappointing. Dang. I think I clearly got going uh, too way, way, way too soon in the stretch. And um, I, I used too much, I should say. In fact, I, if I would have managed the speed better, we probably could have gotten there to the end. So, yeah, I, I still got to time that better. That's my fault. Run for whiskey is up. I'll try to redeem myself with this horse. Um, another long distance race. What's his stamina at? Or endurance. His endurance is um, 49. Seriously? I think that's a really low. I mean, that, that's pretty bad. That's below 50. I think 100 is still the max. Yeah, his endurance kind of sucks. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about in the other game um, videos of Horse Racing Manager 2, where I, I purchased horses in these playthroughs that just didn't really make sense. Like, you need horses with good stamina in both of these games, and I did not do that. Okay, so this should be a good start here. At least, it's gonna be another long race, but hopefully with a good start, we can stay towards the front. I don't know what the rest of the field is doing. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. We're probably still running a little bit harder than we should be. Let's go ahead and, well, I didn't mean to slow down that much. Just like maybe, gosh, 41 kilometers an hour. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta get the distance and, um, we gotta get the distance and the, uh, the speed under control. It's, it's a little bit off right now. Yeah, I bought horses with bad, bad endurance. I, I can't do that. I might sell these horses, honestly, and find better ones because I'm not going to be able to make anything happen with uh, these, these horses, with the stamina, at least. Sure, if I want to really be stringent about moving this little ball around, like I could, but like that's that's not how I want to play the game. <laughs> that's not enjoyable. Not really for me. So, still a long way to go. Really long way to go, actually. My goodness. And I don't even know why I registered these horses for races this long. Maybe that is their preferences. No, I have both. I have short, I think, for all these horses. I don't know what I was thinking. I bought horses I shouldn't have bought, and I've put them in races that I shouldn't even be putting them in. I, I have no idea, guys. <laughs> I really have no idea. <clears throat> Pretty bad. So... We're actually on cruise control here. Um, I have the icon set to preserve stamina. Um... And to be in stamina conservation mode, essentially. Enemy e energy conservation mode. The enemy of the enemy is my teleportation horse. What? What that? Okay. I'm going to ignore that. Um, we're looking good here. I'm going to make sure I am very diligent about, diligent about when we start our spurt. Let's 
not going to um certainly not going to jump it prematurely like I did the last time because I, I really think I should be able to win harness horse races in this game so stamina wise we're looking good we've been protected here we're racing on the boy run for whiskey and uh, we have our stamina's looking really good so if we stay like this we should be okay Yeah, we're really preserving a lot of stamina. We're racing easy. They're racing normal. Good. Okay, so everybody's kind of settled in. I was hoping maybe we were the only one, but apparently everybody's running pretty comfortable right now. Guys, let me know if I should uh, include some like kind of jazzy kind of gallop racer music with these videos. Um, let me know. I'm, I'm totally down for it if you guys think it, it would it would help. Um, we're kind of stuck here. I'm just gonna have to wait. Come on. Go, 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 go. Can I move? I'm trying to go. There we go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, wow. Yeah, the stamina. Okay, so the stamina conservation game is really, really kind of janky. Like, you really have to be on, on the nail about it. So, I really mismanaged. Okay. I got it. Yeah, I have to really be careful with how I kind of like move the needle and everything. Um, granted, I shouldn't be doing these long distance races anyways. So the horse's stamina stamina for uh, both of them aren't great. But okay, I got to figure it figured out now. I got to figure it figured out. And uh, as we slowly watch the rest of the field uh, go past us at blinding speeds here. Run for whiskey. Or actually, I think she might be a filly. I can't remember. Uh, we'll have to check. But, um, yeah. Um, even though your horse, like, if I increase my horse's speed to go 59 kilometers an hour, uh, the horse doesn't actually get up to that speed usually. But even moving the speed meter to that point apparently fatigues the horse a lot. So. But like I said, I think I'm going to get rid of these horses anyways. I mean, they, they did well for us, I guess, at a, kind of at a point. But um, the endurance is pretty bad. I, I don't, like I said, I don't know why I purchased the horses with bad, you know, stamina, essentially. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to look to see if I can actually buy, um, buy some better horses. Uh, let's go to purchase. With good stamina, so and like a really high endurance rating is what I'm looking for here. And these are the only horses that are available from ads, and the highest endurance is 63. I, I I'd prefer higher than that. Yeah, if we go to a public auction, there's more available. And um, I don't know what these people are going to be betting. I never really know. All these horses are kind of crazy. The endurance is right there. It's exactly where I want it to be. But my goodness, uh, I don't know what their prices are going to be. Oh, they're all listed, though. I mean, there's a couple of nationals, but some of these are actually listed. So, you know, this horse right here, this two-year-old, Melody, whatever, it's a filly. Um, 79 speed, 90 acceleration, 85 endurance. I could really work with her. So let's buy. We'll go to the auction. Yeah, really solid speed uh, endurance uh, figure there. So we're gonna go to the auction, and we're gonna try to acquire her because that—that's exactly what I need. Um, when is the auction? Can I go? On? Okay, next event. Uh, is this it? Yeah, this must be it. Mm-hmm. There she is, beautiful two-year-old filly. Again, 79 speed, 89 acceleration, and 84 endurance. But that's pretty solid. Now, again, I don't know what these fools are gonna be betting or excuse me, um, bidding for her. The starting bid, how much? 600,000? Am I reading that correctly? Let's see. Opening price, yes, yeah, 600K. I figured it was going to be dumb stupid. Um, I don't have money to, to be doing this. I don't have the funds for this. But let's just see what she ends up getting. Oh, I, I put up 900 and 64k how bro we don't have the money for this what is gonna happen 
I just click start auction. Like I'm doing nothing. I don't know if there's auction settings here in this game that I forgot to 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 tweak basically or mess with, but it, the game is just bidding and then and 1.5 million. I mean, my goodness. Like we don't have these funds at all. I don't know what's going to happen. Like I did nothing. So I don't even know how I can contribute to buying a horse in the auction. There must be settings for that or something. Um I mean, yeah, is there any other horse that I could wager for? I mean, could try to auction for? Maybe with the good endurance rating that the rest of the, of the group is not going to really key in on? Mm. <sighs> wow. That's, um, that's something else, man. Those prices pretty darn high. About what I was expecting, but, like, still pretty crazy. Okay, let me try this three-year-old filly that actually hasn't won a race. Let's just see how they look. I figure actual race results will make a difference. And again, I don't even know what... I, I can't do anything. Like, I can't change anything with what's happening with the bidding as far as the price. It's just you click start the auction and it literally goes. I have no idea how it actually works. Maybe it's randomized, which would kind of be annoying because then it's like there's, I mean, you could go to 100 auctions and then not win or a claiming race or anything. It, if it's just randomized and it's just like, well, I guess you're just going to have to hope to luck out. It's like RNG and like mobile like games, basically, where it's just literally a random number generator. And if you get that random number that's selected, then you win. That's ah, a bummer. I'll double check to see if there's like a setting for the auction. Maybe there is somewhere like in my business tab, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Sold. Who cares? $1.4 million right out the window. Not really. I mean, I would assume most of these horses end up earning that. Well, actually, no. Do most of them end up earning that back in prize money if they're... If they are acquired at that height. Okay, I'm over this this annoying, obnoxious, randomly generated auction. My goodness. Yeah, what are our funds looking like? I don't even know how... I can't see how much we have because my recorder is blocking the screen. Okay. Um, I'm looking for something that can show the auction preferences. I don't think we have something like that. Um... Everybody's morale is down, so I'm going to go ahead and increase their salaries because they deserve it. I really would like to get better horses with better endurance, but I can't find, like, I, if for whatever reason, when you're looking for one, like, in a classified ad, you can't find one with a decent endurance rating. It's like you always have to get them at auctions, which is really annoying in this game. Mm. There's a lot of buildings and things we need to get to improve everything about our, our, um, our stable and our horses, um, our value. We're racing in Canada. Okay, I almost forgot that. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anything about auction settings anywhere. I'm pretty sure it's literally just completely randomized. So it's like, what's really the freaking point of going to an auction in this game when you can't even dictate any price or participate in the process? I'm going to look through every tab, but I'm pretty sure it's just, like I said, completely randomized. And there's no way to actually benefit off of um, going to the auction unless you're just hoping that something ends up working out for you. But yeah, there, there's nothing about changing your settings for the auction, as I predicted. So again, both of these horses, their their endurance ratings are not good. They're at the 49s. And granted, maybe if I run them in shorter races, as I should be doing, maybe they'll do better. But I would still prefer to buy a horse with a solid endurance rating. And now, like, none are available. And, of course, there's probably another auction. And these things, there's never any, like, reasonable horses that you can even bid for. That's the problem. The auctions just have all of these great horses. So it's like, what's the point in even at, what's the point in attending an auction in this game where you can only compete against the highest, you know, uh, priced horses and the game just randomly selects who wins. And it's probably going to be the AI nine out of 10 times. Like what is really the point in going, you know, um, this horse, 
It's a one-year-old. It has no... I mean, its stats are solid. Um, actually, I need to be looking at trotters here, but, like, it's really no point. Even these listed horses are still going for, for crazy amounts. So, yeah, auctions kind of suck duck water in this game. Um... So I think what we were going to do is another race, but like a shorter one. That would actually make sense. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure both of these horses like a shorter distance. The so Run for Whiskey is the male, and the Lespio is uh, also a male. Okay. Uh, race. So let's go to race calendar for Run for Whiskey. Let's find something short. And the problem is, in this region... For thoroughbred racing, and yeah, I, no, I mean for harness racing, it seems like all the distances are long, and the only short ones are this mounted racing nonsense, which isn't what I want to do, and I can't even change my location. Like, I didn't, I wasn't aware, I, I couldn't have been aware of that when I first started. 1900 meters is like the sh shortest distance. So that that's frustrating that the short distances I can't even run because they're the annoying mounted races. Like no offense, nobody wants to see that. Most people don't. That's not what we play on this channel. So, mm. like I said, I can't even change my region. I would like to start over, but I've done that a bazillion times. So that's why I need to find horses with really good endurance. Because like I said, I can't even change my location now. Uh, like I said, that's annoying. So, um, uh, you don't find the 1500 meter races with, um, yeah, what, what is the, hold on, I want to see how good. So, Canada for, for Gallup, I mean, for Trot is 75. Competition is 60. Wonder why I chose this location. I would have preferred a trotting location with a higher rating, which means better races to run in. I, what a goofy, goofy guy I can be, huh? All right, let's try to get Run for Whiskey in something decent. We'll lose 1,900 meter in February. As, uh, we got to get something going. My goodness, man. Well, SBO, I mean... And race uh, him and pretty much the same race, just or same day, same track, just different times. So that's what we'll do. And then um, let's go to my event. So we'll do these two races. I'm I'm gonna try to no no money left. Quit the game. Oh wow. Uh, I I like I said, my screen recorder has been preventing me from looking at my from looking at my um. <laughs> my earnings and wow you know what maybe it was just meant for us to actually start over and for me to make a smarter decision uh that's exactly what i'm gonna do now this game is hard on hard um yeah because like i said i would totally do things differently now so however i played the game in the beginning uh stupid so stable mode hard And um, like I said, let's I, since I'm doing trots, I was at a yeah. Canada had 75. Maybe I should stick to the USA. Honestly, like I, USA is pretty perfect. I don't know why I went to Canada. Higher trot, gallop, winnings, competition, like yeah. Let's go to the USA. Um, now we don't want to go too broke here as far as buying what we're going to buy first. So I'm going to get something really, really cheap because I want to make sure I can get a solid horse. Uh, bo two boxes and a hanger. That's really about all I need. And that's the cheapest or increases for 37K. I'm not going to do that. I'll take the chance. It's two boxes and a hanger because doing this one at 37K, it still eventually will probably come back to bite us in the end. So I'll just go ahead and do this. Horse racing, gamer stable. You guys know the colors, green, pink, and orange. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm starting over because, like I said, my mindset mentally with playing the game is a lot different. Um, again, I don't even know what I was thinking on the previous playthrough. Like, my goodness, what an absolute idiot I can be sometimes in this game. Um, actually, I don't really like how the pink looks in this game. Maybe red looks better? No, it looks gross. Uh, da 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 da. Um, 
but yeah, I, like like I said, it, it's kind of good that we're starting over. Uh, that looks kind of gross too. I like the black sleeves. Just wish, you know, maybe we switch the colors. Um, and like I said, we'll try to find a decent horse. Hopefully that'll be able to um, really help us. Because um, what we were doing last time out, like I said, didn't really make any sense. Like, couldn't have really made any any sense. And uh, ultimately, it, it was proven to be pretty, pretty stupid. Quite stupid. <laughs> so like I said, I'm glad I'm getting the chance to essentially start over and try to redeem ourselves. Now, would the pink cap actually look cool? Hmm. That doesn't look terrible. Actually, you know what? I know what I'm going for. I'm going for the yellow, the pink. This is um it's it's a color combination that actually looks kind of cool. It's a color combination that's ran by jockeys in Japan a lot. It's not bad. Still maybe we kind of like some green in there. No, I'm getting Kermit the Frog vibes, you know what I mean? Um, the white sleeves is actually different. We don't really run that. Hmm. Maybe the white sleeves with kind of something like that with the yellow. Actually, we could still get green on the sleeves. Still kind of looks like a lot going on, doesn't it? <laughs> still looks like a lot going on. Ooh, actually, I kind of like that. So keep the the cap pink or like a purple if that even looks good I'm not really feeling it alright we'll do that that's fine you have to choose three colors at most oh I forgot and I have like what five what's the point of giving you all these options if you can't even choose all the colors so freaking goofy <laughs> yeah so goofy man it literally makes no sense so if I had to do like that I don't really like how that looks no that's still four colors isn't it um, I have to do like orange or pink or something or green. So annoying, isn't it? So annoying. But basically what we're going to do through this playthrough ultimately is try to find a much better, um, much better uh, endurance horse. I mean, we need that like 100% because that, that's really kind of messing us up. You know what? That works. Uh, whatever. So we'll see how this goes, and uh, hopefully I, I play much smarter this time. <laughs> All right, so let's look for a decent horse with decent endurance, and there's a lot more available when you first start. 75 to 600K, how much money do I have? Because I can't see when I'm recording. We have 178K. All right, let's see if we can find something at least over 60. Oh, look at all these prices. Crazy. And again, auctions don't work because these owners are bidding 1.5 million. We don't even have close to that. Ooh, most next time. 64 endurance at 40k. That's a steal. Five-year-old. Uh, level two. Male. Yep, I, that's exactly what we need. 64 endurance. That should help out a lot. Speed and everything else is pretty average, but I'll take it. We need high endurance. At 40K, and I may not even buy another horse, to be honest. 57 is not bad, but I still don't want anything lower than 60. So um, I don't even have enough money to buy the rest of these horses, but we'll keep checking here weekly. Maybe something decent will pop up. All right, so we're going to stick with one. It's a five-year-old. And let's see if we can um, maybe uh, produce some winnings with them. Probably, probably be my last attempt at this game. Because uh, if I can't win on hard, then I will just have to drop a level. But uh, it's like, is it really worth it at that point? You know what I mean? Is that even going to be fun to do? If hard is just too difficult? <laughs> Again, races at 1,900 meters. Is that really the shortest in this game? I refuse to believe that. I really do. And uh, I'm going to try to find a decent jockey that's not too high up as far as the salary is concerned. Granted, if I'm racing myself, maybe I don't even have to pay that much for uh, a jockey. So let's, I mean, our driver, excuse me, I forgot we're trotting here. All right, let's 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 find a, a decent race for most next time. The name doesn't even make sense. But, or did we already schedule a race? 
1500 meters finally that's what i'm talking about get us like some really you know um small races like that or can i just enter him in multiple races at the same time i think i can um okay you can't enter them in multiple races at the same time in this game well fantastic um as far as training is concerned with him i just have him stick to full right now because i don't even know if we're going to get through this but i'm going to try you can bet i'm definitely going to try so let's try to get this done and see how he does handicap are we carrying a handicap of course we are all right 1500 meters very short we're not expected to finish anywhere. Great. Oh, so, actually, they do kind of have us finishing on, uh, like, sixth place here. Hopefully, I don't muff it up. Let's see. All right. This should be a good start, and it is. Off we go here with most next time. I like how the silks look. Move to the inside here. Let's see how fast they're running. 42. Okay, we're going... We're, we're okay at 41 right now. Okay, we do need to catch up just a little bit, though. How far are they running? Okay, now they're running 47. They, they really kind of jumped the gun there on me. We're running 46. So we're catching up at 45, 44. Trying to, at least. It's a little bit more challenging than I thought on hard. We're running at 46, but we're not really catching up. I guess I should have gotten going sooner. Granted, we did start from the back because of the handicap. I would think we'd be near the front if we didn't start off like that, right? Wouldn't you think so? Yeah, I would think without the handicap, which I wasn't really paying attention to, we, we would definitely be starting near the front, so... What are you really going to do? At least I'm going to try to give it a shot. In all honesty, hard might be too hard. And maybe the game is more enjoyable to play on an easier difficulty. I'm sure we've all played games like that where the game is just not programmed um, to be, you know, uh, fun playing at a higher, higher difficulty. So it's, it's much more enjoyable at like a lower difficulty if you can manage it. I think that might be what this game is. Um... It is challenging for sure. Maybe if I actually personally got better at it, I would enjoy the difficulty more. But um, it might still inherently be pretty challenging to play, which it always kind of was, especially at the hardest level. It's much harder than I think Horse Racing Manager 2 on the hardest level. Um, so, yeah, that wasn't really going to work. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to really keep up. Uh, like I said, that handicap actually really hurt us because we st had to start from so far back. So... That's disappointing, but that was a 1900 meter race. We'll see how he does in 1500 next time out. And I'm going to go ahead and just advance to that next race here. That was a very short race. This is also going to be a very short one. And, uh, oh, that was the 1500. Now we're doing 19. Uh, pfft, okay. And again, another handicap. Okay. I don't know why I'm continuing to carry these handicaps. We're all group two horses. I guess I'm just not looking at it right. And you know what? Well, uh, last race I'll do. Ultimately, maybe I should trust in the AI, you know, um, to uh, try to help me win here. Maybe that would actually be... I mean, look how far back we have to start. I guess what I would have to do is really try to, you know, get, get the horse head down to the front pretty quickly here. And then, um, like, try to uh, settle the horse back in shortly after that maybe that's what i ultimately have to do which again i think that's a huge stamina drain but it, it may, maybe it'll work i mean we're still running kind of hard and we're not really catching the horses in front i would like to catch them so let me try yeah, managing the stamina is really challenging in this game on hard it really is and then horses are just teleporting out of gaps like of course um Okay, whatever just happened slowed me down without me even doing anything. So yeah, uh, with this game, like I, I would like to still have a harness horse racing game on this channel. This is like one of the only ones out there. Like I said, in Horse Racing Manager 2, it's still kind of broken. Maybe I could try, you know, starting over 
in that uh, not starting over, but doing another playthrough in that game with the harness horse racing mode as well. But I'm not sure to be honest. Like, I'm not sure if it would really be worth it, you know. Um, I acquired this game for a reason. It was really to play with this harness horse racing mode. Uh, but maybe I, I just shouldn't play it. I would like to get better. I would think I could get better. And uh, why is that happening? I'm getting slowed down, and then my speed, I know it's dropping, but, like, I, I'm clicking to get it back up, and it's just not going. That's really crazy, dude. Yeah, I can't really get it right. I, I guess I'm really going to need to just, like... Uh, let the AI race on these horses, and then I'm just going to have to practice off screen because um, I am bombing it. This video should be watch somebody suck at a, you know, retro 90s, late 2000s harness horse racing game. That's pretty much what I'm doing. And I got a horse with good endurance, and I'm, I can't keep up at the front. Granted, I did run in two races with a handicap. That's why I'm like, I would at least like to try a race without a handicap. I couldn't see them on unless I completely missed them. Maybe I did, but I, I didn't see that when I was looking at those races. Outside of just looking at a short distance race, I didn't see anything about a handicap, and maybe I did completely miss it. All right, let's 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 do it one more time. I might just be inherently bad at this game, but uh, I'm going to try to pay attention. Race calendar. <sighs> I mean, conditions, there's no handicap. Like, they will say handicap, obviously, like these, but I, I maybe maybe they did say it, and I just, okay, so this 1,900 meter is a handicap. Um, 22, it's a little bit, I'm looking, I would like to do something short without a handicap, but maybe that's just not even possible. Yeah, it's looking kind of slow here, man. I mean, there's a 1,900 months in advance. That's it's quite long. I'd prefer not to wait that long. Handicap, handicap, yeah, hard difficulty really is uh, quite hard. Okay, 2,200 meters, that, that's pretty average. Let, let's try that out just to get something in. All right, advance to that week. And this will be the last race of the video. We shouldn't have a handicap here today. We're going a little bit longer here. Yeah, no handicap, finally. Uh, we have post position four, fantastic. And we're expected to finish. Oh, well, not in dead last. All right. Let's try this out. Hopefully, I'll have a better shot, better chance here, but maybe I'll still end up bombing it. I don't know. <laughs> but like I said, we, we're not starting like 50 meters behind the field. So maybe we actually have a chance to like get out pretty early, like this, and then just kind of move in or, or whatever. Um,. Yeah, maybe this can help us finish a lot better. And if it does, it just means I have to be really good about not putting myself in handicapped races because then that's just automatically putting ourselves in a really vulnerable spot, right? So, uh, this is okay. I mean, I prefer to be tucked in uh, behind a horse somewhere, but I'm not going to overexert myself to do that at the moment. But I don't want to drop off too far either. Because they're running a little bit faster. But that means we should have a little bit more stamina. Alright, this can work. I'm just going to stay right here. I don't want to move all the way to the inside. Because if I need to make a move, I'd prefer not to be blocked. Since the AI are just absolute geniuses with, like, giving you space. And, of course, I'm being sarcastic. Because the point of that is that they don't really give you space. They just run and race like you're not even there. Um... So, yeah, this is good. I mean, we're where I want to be. Okay, so anytime a horse moves in front of you, it does adjust. It does, like, mess up your speed. That's really obnoxious. I get it. It's just, it's it's a very automatic thing, and it's kind of abrupt. It's not smooth like it is in Gallup Racer. So I, I wasn't aware that's kind of how that mechanic worked. But now that I know, I need to just, you know, make sure I'm, I'm still being weary um, and alert about clicking on the speed if I have to adjust it. You know what I mean? So... Hard still is kind of hard. I mean, the, the AI, they do adjust and move, like, quite a bit. You know what I mean? They really do. So, yeah, every time that happens, like, it does mess me up. But I swear, like, on the other difficulties, that wasn't a thing. But maybe it's just something I didn't really pay attention to. That could be the case. And then horses are literally, like, teleporting out of the way and, like, not having to waste the stamina to move. That That's obnoxious. So yeah, I'm just going to try to keep this horse kind of in tow. I don't want to fall in last place. So let's just see if I can manage the stamina well, at least for that. You know what I mean? Um, 
so yeah let's let's just see if we can manage that I mean we'll, we'll still have enough if I stick like this yeah I don't know how we dropped back so far we were up like in fifth place I have no idea what happened I really don't yeah I'm not sure maybe I'm just gonna have to um this horse is just blocking us like no care in the world I don't know it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, interesting to see what I should do um because yeah I guess I, it's weird I could win on easy which is terrible and I can't do anything really on hard so maybe I'm just not good at the game because I'm still in last place I don't even know how that happened oh how how awful actually how awful stamina is really hard in this game it's very challenging it's very challenging very 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 challenging because you actually do have to move this ball around from the wind to stamina to your maneuverability you have to do all of that and then you really have to keep up with the ai and then if they bump you oh that's a bummer that's really a bummer so i'm not really going to be able to play this game at hard and succeed not if i'm actually racing i could do the management and everything but um let's actually see how this horse let's see how the ai race um with him we'll, we'll go ahead and watch one more race uh, we're not going to run in this one but we'll watch it Okay, no handicap, perfect. Um, and I'll hire the most experienced jockey and see if he can, uh, Anna Cody or her, see if they can get it done. Um, because, yeah, I, I don't think this is going to work like I thought on this difficulty. Um, I'm not great at this game. It, it'd be like playing starter's orders on the highest difficulty. I wouldn't be good at doing that, so I'm not even going to pretend to be. So we'll watch the AI in this race, and then let's see what they can do. Um... Most next time we are expected to finish in dead last. All right, let's just go watch. But yeah, maybe it's just meant for me to, um, you know, uh, just watch the AI race, right? And to not actually take part in the racing, which is fine. I mean, it, you know, it would be nice if I could be good at the harness horse racing in this game, but I'm, I'm not. Um, only on easy am i actually like good and I don't, I don't consider that good not not for my standards so that's kind of the case for both games like on easy i can do well on uh, medium i'm not sure medium might be hit or miss and then hard as far as the harness horse racing modes i'm not good at apparently not unless i have like a really solid horse and when you're playing career mode or stable mode in these games it's hard to get a really good horse because you just don't have the money for it the game doesn't give you enough money to get one of the great, you know, one of the, the best horses initially. So it, it already makes it extremely challenging, hence the difficulty. But again, whether you're playing easy, medium, or hard, you only have $500,000, and a lot of the really good horses are already like over 700K. You know what I mean? So, like, the game doesn't even give you a chance to acquire those horses. Like, it's like, what's the point of even putting them there? that's what i'm saying as far as things being broken the auction system that we saw in this video you guys saw it it was completely randomized all i do is click on a button that says start the auction and then i have no participation in the auction those are like broken game i mean those are like broken not thought and not thought out gameplay mechanics now in this race um the jockey's actually or the driver excuse me is actually doing well here on most next time so maybe we can still get through the series if i just let the ai do the driving again it would be fun and nice to be able to play a game and it, it it's fun to do the hardest horse racing it's just i'm not good at the hardest levels so it's like if i really wanted to i guess play it and have fun uh from me actually controlling the horse i'd have to play it on an easier difficulty you know but at the end of the day, I really like to play this for the management aspect of it. Um, and there are other games I can play um, mobily for harness horse racing. Not a lot, but those games aren't, aren't terrible, um, to be honest. It's just, you know, I would like to be able to kind of play and be good at playing and contribute to our success. But the harness horse racing is actually quite difficult considering the fact that, you know, I, I love it a lot um, just from a consumer, you know, perspective. But, um yeah, it's a lot harder for me to manage in this game. Obviously, the thoroughbred racing is a lot easier in both of these games to do, but the harness is very confusing. So, the AI finished fourth with them, and um, I guess the only thing I can do is maybe practice off-screen, and maybe if I get better playing the game that way, then I can start playing again. But if it's just something I'm just not going to be good at, no matter how much I practice or try, then I'm just going to have to let the AI do the racing, and then I'll stick to 
you know, is doing the management aspects and we'll just get into breeding and maybe that's what we end up doing. And I still think it'll be enjoyable. Um, and maybe if I just want to play the game and have fun, obviously I just kind of maybe do kind of random one-off videos where we're not playing career mode. I'm just kind of doing like special races and I'm actually playing, but hopefully I'll be, you know, better to, to do that. That's kind of my goal. I was going to do it for this video though. Appreciate you guys love and support on the channel as always. And uh, we'll be back with some more horse racing content here soon. I will be signing out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. I will see you and goodbye.